section 4.2, reduction of order. In this section, we will find the second solution of the homogeneous and non-homogeneous equations. For the homogeneous equations, the linear second order will be in the form of y double prime plus p times y prime plus q times y equals zero, where p and q are continuous on some interval i, and the first solution y1 is not zero. From y2 equals the product of the function u and the first solution y1, the second solution of the homogeneous differential equation is in the form of y2 equals y1 multiplied by the integral of e to the negative integral p with respect to x divided by the first solution y1 to the second power with respect to x. And this formula is called the reduction of order formula. Example one, given the differential equation y double prime plus two times y prime plus y equals zero, and the known solution or the first solution, which is y1 equals x times e to the negative x, we are going to find the second solution, which is y2, using the reduction of order formula. y2 equals y1 multiplied by integral e to the negative integral of the p with respect to x divided by y1 squared with respect to x. Before we use this reduction of order formula, make sure your equation is in the standard form. In this part or this one part a is already in the standard form because the leading coefficient is one. On the side, we are going to find e to the negative integral of the p with respect to x for our case, the px, which is the coefficient of the first order, is 2. The q of x equals 1, which is the coefficient of the y or the y to the uh, zero order of the derivative. Therefore, e to the negative integral px dx equals e to the negative integral of the 2 with respect to x or e to the negative 2x. Replace y1 and the e to the negative integral px into the formula as y1 equals x times e to the negative x multiplied by the integral of e to the negative 2x that we got from the side divided by the y1, which is x e to the negative x to the second power with respect to x. Simplify the integrand. We have e to the negative 2x divided by x squared times e to the negative 2x with respect to x. We can see the e to the negative 2x cancel. Now we have the integrand in the simplified form as x to the negative second power. That gives the antiderivative x to the negative first divided by negative one. We can ignore the constant of integration because we are looking for the member of the fundamental set of the solution. Simplify this to get negative e to the negative x. As we call in, in section 4.1, if y1 is a solution, the constant multiple y1 is also the solution of the same differential equation. So we can see this as the constant negative one multiplied by e to the negative x. Therefore, the fundamental function or the fundamental solution that represents the second solution is just e to the negative x. Just disregard the constant multiple to that function. So y2 equals e to the negative x is the second solution. And we can say y1 equals x e to the negative x and y2 equals e to the negative x is in the fundamental set of solution. In part B, we have differential equation in the form of x squared times y double prime plus two x times y prime minus six y equals zero, where the given solution or the first solution y1 is x to the second power. 
this equation is not in the standard form. So we are going to rewrite it as the leading coefficient one by dividing all the terms with x squared to get y double prime plus two over x times y prime minus six over x squared times y equals zero. Therefore, we can see p of x, which is the coefficient of the y prime in the standard form is two over x. As you notice in part A or the previous, uh, previous example, we did not use Qx at all. So the main part of this is using the Px before we put in the reduction of order formula. As Px equals two over x, so e to the negative integral Px, dx is e to the negative integral of two over x with respect to x that gives us e to the negative two natural log x or x to the negative second, that is the same as one over x to the second power. So the second solution, y2. Using the reduction of order formula is y1 multiplied by the integral e to the negative integral px dx divided by y1 squared with respect to x replace y1 with x squared e to the negative integral px is 1 over x squared divided by y1 squared which is x squared squared with respect to x simplify this to get integral of 1 over x to the negative 6 1 over x to the 6 that becomes x to the negative 6 for the integrand. Antiderivative of x to the negative 6 is x to the negative 5th divided by negative 5. Ignore the constant of integration. Now we have negative 1 over 5 times x to the negative third. And again, we see negative one over five as a constant multiplied by the solution x to the negative third. That tells us the second solution y2 is just x to the negative third. Now we can, we can say y1 and y2 are fundamental set of solution. where y1 is x squared and y2 is x to the negative third.